Welcome ladies and gents, hope you're all doing well. My name is Louis aka Man Your Man here and today I'll be playing the Resident Evil Remade Remaster on the PlayStation 4. So the Resident Evil Remade released back in 22nd March 2002 and is the remake of the original classic Resident Evil that everyone loved back in 22nd of March 1996. So this game is full of new content, full of uh, new areas, new enemies and it kind of fill in the gap for the story as well which is really good so this game i recently ranked all my resident evil game main titles size stories whatever side games whatever so this is my third place favorite game resident evil game of all time so this is the continuation of my path to resident evil 8 already completed Resident Evil 0 and if you haven't watched that yet go watch that it acts as a prequel to Resident Evil with that being said let's get into this survival horror classic Resident Evil so a little bit of a disclaimer here I have recorded about an hour worth of content already so I gone through a lot of the mansion the first part of the mansion already but I realized the question and the answers actually act as a difficulty kind of uh, selection. So I originally thought climbing a mountain would be hard difficulty and going on a hike would be normal and going for a walk would be easy. I went ahead and looked online and actually climbing a mountain is the normal mode. Going on a hike is easy and then taking a walk is basically the easiest difficulty. So that is why I restarting my playthrough with the normal difficulty and hopefully, you know, the first part I kind of know what, what I'm doing, how to solve the puzzle and where I'm going. I mean, majority of this game I'll, I'll know what I'm what I'm doing because I, I have completed it a lot of the time. So for Resident Evil, you get to pick two characters. So the first one is the main story hero, Chris Redfield. Mr. Redfield has have a reputation of being a punching boulder in Resident Evil 5 which of course is one of the co costume in the remade remaster version. As much as it is fun to use this uh, Chris Redfield and also Jill with the BSAA costume as well, I will be playing their original character costume just for that nostalgia and original sake original style say so who to choose from jill or chris so the difference between the two is jill is genuinely easier she has a lock pick that can unlock um some doors in the in the first areas and get more items out of it and also be able to complete the game a lot quicker barry will help her in certain situation which again make the game a lot easier and jill also have eight item slots instead of the original six compared to Chris so she can carry a little bit more stuff. She does take more damage if someone, um, if, a, if a zombie hit her or a monster hit her so she's not as uh, tanky as the likes of uh, Chris or Billy in terms of Resident Evil Zero but she's not as weak as Rebecca because Rebecca when Rebecca get hit in Resident Evil Zero, that's it. You're going down to caution straight away. And then you're going to Amber caution and then you go through danger. So you basically have four hits with Rebecca. For Jill, she's a little bit tankier than Rebecca, but not as not as great defensively as Chris. With that being said, um, my one hour playthrough, I started with Chris. So I'm just going to go back to Chris again. Enjoy the cutscene. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. Have found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict.
safe for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Okay, so Chris, so that was a classic cutscene. If you if you guys haven't watched the original cutscene with the voice actor, oh god, that was it was bloody terrible. So now we are Chris. The control was a little bit different to Resident Evil Zero. In a way, I feel like Resident Evil Zero movement is is a lot better. It's a smoother than. Resident Evil 1, but... Alright, that was class. That was another classic scene, the zombie looking... So there's nothing much we can do. I mean, we can knife him to death, but I'm not that much of a skilled knifer. So I'm just going to go back and report to Reska. Wesker? Jill? Jill? Where could they be? Where did they go? Jill's his pistol. So 
So at least we got our pistol. We, uh... At least we got a weapon to fight against any zombies that could be in our way. So I'm pre predicting that this first part will be um, pretty quick. Uh, the, the corpse of your comrade, Kenneth. Not Kenneth. So uh, Kenneth got chomped down pretty good. So yeah, so this is uh, pretty much the... Um, first time that I play using my headphones because normally I just let it play out on the on the on the, on my TV, but now I'm just playing it on my headphones, so I can I can hear a lot of like small little little details, sound that buzzing through the headphone instead of just. Instead of getting muffled by um, TV speakers. See you later, guys. <laughs> yes. Similar to. Oh, hello. Iframe? Ooh, not sure about that. Definitely no iframe. Ah, okay, they're, they're kind of a little bit. A little bit of iframe. So, dagger, which is a defensive item. Um, it's basically you can use this when a zombie or a monster grab hold of you, then instead of them doing critical damage to you, you can just use the defensive weapon to avoid that. So you can trigger it through the option, so you get... Um, you can switch between flash grenade or the dagger. So for the dagger, if you stab a zombie in the head and then you use a shotgun to blow his head off or your pistol to blow his head off, then you can retrieve the dagger back. So that's one good thing about it. And also similar to Resident Evil Zero, you can examine items and, re and, and, and basically get more out of that item. Or do something significant with that item. Okay, so back in the lobby. We need to uh, go outside for a little bit of a breather. So when I was um, accidentally playing easy mode, as you can you can hear that there is already zombie here. This guy wasn't there before, and then that guy wasn't there before either. When I was walking through the game, running through the, the, the game in easy mode, I did kind of think about why is it no zombies in the backyard? Why is there no zombie here? There used to be zombie. Oh, bloody hell, I got like ammo and shells. It was literally just... It felt easy when I was playing it, so it took me a long time to for me to search Google and be like, oh, okay, actually playing through easy mode instead of uh, the normal mode. Um, I could have just continued playing through the easy mode and say, you know what, I, I went far enough to not replay the whole game. But for me, I'm just like, no, I, I really enjoy this game, want to play this game how it how it is. So this is a tricky situation, I don't know what to do. I think I can juke it. Hey, MLG bitches. MLG. All right, what we got here? So we got a key, so we can examine it to see what key it is. It's a sword key. You can drive a sword. I want a key like that, that'd be cool. It's a little bit too big though, isn't it? The dining room. Um, so let's think about where to go. I think I'm going to focus on the left side of this house first. I think I'm going to focus on the left side of this house first, of this mansion first, and then go through the right side. 
Now, I do have a spare clip of pistol ammo, a handgun ammo. Only one clip. But this is what I come here to get. Oh, I've got, I got two clips. I've got, I got 30 rounds. So let's get ahead out of here. Oh no, there's a zombie. Bye, dummy. Yeah, so the zombie doesn't move very quick. Easy to avoid. Um, but obviously it'll get tougher as the series goes on. Uh, sword key, let me have a little quick think. Oh, 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 this is my favorite. Nice. Okay, so, I mean, I can, I can get the dog whistle right now. No, I can't, the dog whistle is in the other side. Okay, so I do need to go to the other side. That's all right. I'll come across a item box anyway, so that would be good. Okay. So a lot of the items, a lot of the things, I'm not going to bother because I know how to play the game. Um, for example, in, the, in that room just in the room that we just passed, you can grab another dagger in the closet and then a zombie will come and basically it shows you how to use the, the dagger properly kind of thing. But, and also you can move these um, chests or crate or whatever you want to call it um, to the statue and then you can get the map of the mansion ground for all. Ooh. Look at me, Chris Redfield. I'm here to rescue you. Wait, didn't do that before. Okay, I'm here to rescue you. Okay. We disturb a zombie taking a bath. We disturbed him. He was having a nice relaxing bath with the good old lush product. I just grab the key and get out. Hey! I want to fight him in a more kind of open area. So I know one of the oak here can use in here. He's gonna come out. No? Yeah, he didn't come out. That's strange. Because in the easy mode, he came out. He bashed out. Oh, and that, that actually scared the shit out of me. Oh, he didn't follow me in here either. Hmm, okay. trying to go for a headshot because if you're slightly elevated if I feel like it kind of increased the chance of um, hitting a headshot so it's pretty generic you get item box I say pretty generic item box doesn't exist in uh, in Resident Evil 0 so basically item box is pretty much the classic of the game, invented uh, back in the 1996 original. 
you can put your items here and then all your items will be transferred to the next safe room so you don't have to backtrack as much in a way because in Resident Evil 0 you drop an item but if it if it all of a sudden deemed useful then you have to go all the way back to grab that item uh, or grab that kind of a uh, weapon or ammo whatever it is so the item box kind of eliminate that in a way because you have all your weapons all your items all your or even your key items in the box so you just have to go to your safe room retrieve it and then go to your destination okay so i've got an o key just gonna grab that ingrip. Oh, another old key. All right. I thought I'm gonna get. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. Whatever. Coral scent. So I got some fuel. And this is one of the another features to. Oh, this is a, a new features for. Um, Resident Evil. So if you don't burn the body, these zombies will you'll, will come back as a new enemy called the Crimson Head. So the Crimson Head is faster, it's more RGL, it's more aggressive and it hits harder and it's harder to kill. So if you never ever burn any zombies body after you down them, they will all come back as a crimson head later on in the game. So you could have two or three in the room or a corridor. And uh, that's just not advisable. So just make sure that you burn. Oh, hoo -hoo, sweet Lou. See you later. Keep sleeping. Hello. 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 Hey, it's me. It's, it, it's literally like... Hello! There you go. Pop his head! Pop his head! Pop his head! No! Is there blood? Yeah. This is um another kind of classic hint whether or not you kill a zombie is to see if there's a pool of blood. If there's no pool of blood, he is he's faking it. So it's actually a really, really good job that I killed this zombie with a headshot so that I don't have to burn him. Okay, so so now these two are burnt. I can go back and grab some more fuel. So basically there's these uh, kind of fuel tank around. So the uh, coral scene still remain, yes. So I've got some more fuel, not a single drop left. So I know that I can only have two more uses. In in a way, this game makes makes sure that you don't kill every single enemy that you see. Because number one, you will have limited ammo. Number two, the enemy will come back a lot stronger. And you really don't want that. Hey. If there's a zombie that you can avoid, just just avoid them juke them dodge them whatever you do just try to avoid them as much as possible so we got a dog whistle now and i thought there was like a journal here that i can pick up but maybe not so you can examine the gun just like resident evil zero it's pretty cool so instead of the um, 9 millimeter box that you see in Resident Evil 0, you see a proper pistol handgun magazine. It's pretty cool. The amount of details in this game is it's great. I love it. So yeah, a dog whistle. By blowing it, it generates frequency only audible to the ears of dogs. Nice. Now nah, I don't know which side he's on. I'm gonna. Oh, I guessed it right. 
It was either going to be on the right or on the left, so... Okay, so I believe we're doing pretty well so far. There is a zombie here that I want to just loop around. So then I can um, push the statue out. Uh, I might have... Oh, no, okay, cool. Oh, he's, he's, he's long gone. So I'm not going to pick up the gem at the moment. So the, the, the downstairs area is the dining room. Just going to push that. Oh, he's reversing in. Hello. Okay, let's go. So some texture is obviously high definition, like remade, but you can see some texture is still the original kind of thing. It, it wasn't sharpened. So yeah, I'm locking it using the old key. I think there's someone coming from the stairs, yeah. I hope he's not dead dead. Because that means I need to use two... Yeah, no, no, no. So what I'm going to try to do is to get them to die in the same place. And then hopefully burn the bodies. Um, burn both the bodies. Oh! Oh boy. Alright, you just kind of ruined my plan, but make my plan better in the same way. Okay. Alright, I dig. I dig. See you later. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if he comes back or not, but I'm just going to burn him. Sweet. Okay, so so in a way, um, Chris and Jill is so in a way, Chris and Jill is pretty balanced, I believe, because Jill wouldn't have the lighter at first. Um, so Jill, we need to pick up the lighter and have it on her in her inventory whenever she needed to burn bodies. But whereas Chris already have his lighter as a personal item, so he can go around just burning body and using one, one item slot instead of two um, for, for, for Jill. And also Chris has a higher critical chance to headshot zombie. So yes, I'm running low on ammo. This wouldn't have been the case in the easy playthrough that I've done. But it is what it is. Um, there's still a few zombies around the mansion that I have uh, duped instead of killing. But, but it's good that I've got all the old key for now. Uh, which will make a difference. To the to the walkthrough, so I got a broken shotgun, got the dog whistle, got some, uh, got some few here, and I think got some ink ribbon here. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and put away the ink ribbon. I will keep the broken shotgun because that's what we're gonna do next is we're going to do the dog whistle and then we're going to swing back to do the uh, the shotgun. So it's all in the same place, we might as well do them. So time to do the, so time to do the dog whistle. So those are some green herbs there. 
on the side, which will be good if I get damage in here. I think there's a couple uses for sure. Oh. Damn you, dog. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Fuck off, dog. Bloody hell, the fish is little fella, aren't they? Got me to caution. Luckily, there's some green herbs here. So we've got a collar, and inside the collar we see a, a coin, but in the coin we see an armor key, but it's actually changed into a shape of a key, it's an imitation of a key. So yeah, that's all um, crazy stuff going on. If you didn't read the file properly about the whistle, you wouldn't have known that. You could have just easily run around the... You could have easily run around the whole bloody game trying to figure out how what, what you need to do. So examining the items are really important um, for this entire story, for, the, for this entire game. Right, now they change the zombies position. Yeah, they can be cheeky like that and just change the position of the zombies. Um, especially I think it change after you 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 push the statue down. Because he no longer needs to be around the statue, so the game just changes position. I think there's a zombie here, yeah. Just walk right through him. Oh, alright. So that's the crimson crimson head for you. Uh, I do have some slots, that's good. So this is one of those uh, little puzzle that could potentially get you kill. So one of those cheap death that the developer put in. So if you didn't have the imitation of a key, and you didn't put the key back, you will get basically crushed by that um, by that arm of his spinning blades. That was pretty cool though, it gives you some hints of what's about to come because as you can see all the kind of glass looking thing is all being pushed aside. So that that kind of gives you an idea and obviously there's like a rail here and then there's a massive armor with a spike hiding there it kind of gives you hints like what's to come but with that being said we got the armor key so we can unlock a lot of the doors for this first part of the mansion uh yeah i'm just gonna go the safe way and also i know i got the um I got the fuel now, so I can burn the zombie that I killed in the next corridor. So then he doesn't turn back as a crimson head and come back and haunt us. Kenneth. It's a bit surprising that um, Kenneth didn't turn into a zombie. Maybe because he was, I don't know, maybe he was fatally killed or something. So I use my armor key there. So that's good. So I only got one pop of kerosene left. Okay. Now I'll go around. See you later. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. It's good to have a uh, more powerful weapon. So you can see that that statue, there's like a shining items at the top. So all you have to do is to push that chest of draw near the statue and then you grab the, the map. OK, 
Okay, so this ended up working pretty well for me because I can go grab this chemical for the plants in the backyard, in the courtyard. So I think there is some um, kerosene as well in this courtyard, which... Yes, there is, yeah. Nice. So I filled up one already. Uh, do I do I need the herb? No, I don't need the herb. I need exactly that one item slot. So these these dogs they they can jump over and get you eventually, and you 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 don't want to mess around with dogs. Now because I got the chemical for the plant, I think. He's gonna come out, yep. And then there's more zombie down here. Yeah, I think what happened is that uh, I was I picked up the chemical for the plant really early on in my first playthrough, my easy playthrough, and I got scared straight away by that zombie because the zombie just triggered it because I no longer need to really go back there. So. All right, so got the proper working shotgun. I'm gonna use the broken shotgun as the paper as as a paperweight kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and examine the shotgun. Pretty cool. Fire a 12 gauge shell weapon that is capable of firing wide range. Nice. So six rounds in the chambers. If you didn't put the broken shotgun uh, for the weight of that con uh, that contraption, the wall will come down and basically crush you to death. So another cheap death created by the developer, but a cool one nevertheless. Juke him! Oh no! No! Damn it! That's my first fail. Yeah. Yeah, boy. All right, he's pissing me off. No. Oh, I need to burn him. It's all right. I got, I got some fuel left. It's always safer just to watch them burn, watch them finish burning before going to another area. There you go, use more of the mansion key. Ah, we got we got a note. A lesson bullet in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out. Okay, so we know that Wesker is still okay. Where is Jill? Where is Jill? Oh, nice. Oh, I actually ran out of all my ammo. Holy shit, I didn't even realize. So I've got a few ink ribbon already, I've got a pistol, ammo, just one clip, I've got a fuel canteen, got a first aid here, and I've got some shotgun shell. I'm currently on green. No, pick up, pick up that shotgun. Okay, so I've got two health items. I'm just gonna go ahead and save once here. All right, so pretty good so far. Know exactly where I needed to go. Uh, my ammo reserve is a little bit sketchy. The reason I say that ammo reserve is a bit sketchy is I only got one one full clip, and it's even sketchier than when I was playing Resident Evil Zero. Old fashioned, that's right. Rather simple mechanism. Oh, so I need an old key there. First aid case. That's good. So again, you need to examine it to open it. No, uh, d all right. Aiming for the buckle that didn't work. Okay. So it's giving me a lot of health already, which is great in a way. Ink ribbon, don't really need. Another herb. So, unlike Resident Evil Zero, Chris can Chris and Jill can both just combine herbs. 
Um, Billy struggle with that, of, of course. All right, we've got an old key. Just that's a that's a good timing for the old key, to be honest. Good placement. Okay. Logical report. Ah, damn it! I'm missing a item slot. All right. What we'll do is that I will deposit those health item into the item box and then come back here all right and we're back researchers as well all my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses this virus rob is victims of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them, pressing against my door like minus hungry animals. Okay. So this is a little bit of a file that we get to know um, more about what they are doing in this mansion. So there's all obviously some fucked up thing happened in the, in the mansion and this is like the first clue and the researcher is saying that okay whatever whatever thing that we're doing it's making people mad okay let's grab that as well So the hook should go back to the hook and the inset. No. Just press the damn button. We. So we got the win win quest. And how is that turning alive all of a sudden? I have no idea. Now that's a massive uh, bee or wasps. I would have scared shitless, man. Especially when they're just flying above your head, trying to sting you. Okay, so we got the wind crest. So that is a little bit later on when we get to the courtyard of uh, outside a mansion. Then it will be useful. For now, I'm just going to put it into the box. I don't know where he is. Oh, oh. Oh, ho, ho, how the hell did he not grab me there? God damn, that was close. So there's one door that I haven't opened yet, I believe. Uh, there's two doors. This one as well. I'll come back to that one later. Um, and the other door, which is to the piano room, is not open yet. I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the uh, dog whistle balcony and fill up because I'm on orange. Orange? No, I'm yellow at the moment, not orange. And now there's a zombie? Oh! Oh, that's cool, because I think this zombie is actually... Oh, I haven't got my kerosene. If I didn't, um... Come back here... What happened is that that zombie would... Would have bust through that door and into the next area. Okay, so I treated my wound now. Let's see if I got... You don't need to use them now, okay? So it looks like I've got one or two more uses. And what I would do is uh, to visit the the door that we just unlocked using the armor key. I 
figure I might as, I figure I might as well do it now. It's nothing major. Probably gonna end up losing more health than I gain from it. So we're on to another balcony. Um Hey, there was dagger. Ah, uh, so comrade for us from the bravo team. No. It's been dead for a while. So, in the original is more clear. Um, that forest is actually picked, uh, picked to death by um, the crows, so it's a little bit more obvious. So zombie forest because he is a special agent. Ah, damn it! Because he is a special forces, he's a lot quicker. He's not as uh, strong as the Crimson Head, but he, you can see that he's, he, he moves slightly quicker. And when he grabs you, you can't use any defensive weapon. And what will happen is that in the new game, after you completed the story once, Forrest will come back and basically haunt you. Um, well, but, but haunt you and hunt you for the entire mansion run. And he, you can't shoot him because he's strapped up with frag grenades. So just one of those uh, element of surprise, I would say. Is he still on this side? Yeah. Which is a bit annoying. Okay. Yeah, so if I didn't kill that zombie, that zombie would have bust through that door by now. Right. Just need to top up my pistol and go for it and hope for the best. I'm on fine. I got five daggers. Got five daggers that I'm not using. Oh, okay. Oh, piano room. I don't need. Have I unlocked it with the piano room already? I think I have, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the first door I unlocked. Okay, got more flash grenade. So I have two flash grenade already. Uh, you know what, it might be a good idea for me to do the blue gem now when there's no zombies around. Then to backtrack later. The blue gem so I'm gonna put that into the tiger statute is mad that the the amount of puzzle in this in this house in this mansion all the contraption and everything bloody hell it literally have a room that can crush you to death because you don't have you, you took out a shotgun or something bloody crazy man So the tiger, if you examine it, basically said there's an inscription, a tiger gl glowing with blue and yellow light. So we've got the blue light, the blue eyes for the for the tiger, and now we just need the yellow diamond, which is again mad. Oh no, let's go through this one. I think I get yeah, I get some ammo, which is good. That's what we need. Keeper's Diary. Itchy Tasty. Let's 
So the a Mr. Keeper is here. Oh, I juked him again. What the hell? I knew I couldn't have Juke 2, so... Have to use a dagger. I mean, I got five daggers anyway. Might as well use one of them. Now, whether or not they will bust through this door, I have no idea. But I've got another old key. I don't know where to use it, though. Now, this is where you have to be very careful to pick whether or not you want to go through the... Um, the color, color red or green. Red is to kill these little plant tentacle thing. But as you can see, already see on the floor, there's a green pipe. The green pipe, if you're not careful, will destroy five green herbs. Five green herbs. Mad. Well, I'm not going to pick this up yet because I want to combine uh a few green herbs because i don't think i'll be coming back to this place and i got pretty good i'm going to use one of them anyway that's what i'm going to do use one of them make sure that i'm absolutely maximum health because i did get um as uh, i did get bitten by forest once so i'm going to make it a triple triple green so triple green is the um, the best you can do. So it will recover fully your health. Two green it will recover like 50% of your health. But if you have a green and red, it will recover 100%. Bye guys. See you later. Uh, where do I need to go? Back to the item box. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do the, the keeper's room and I want to do the tiger statue first because I knew that um, more, more zombie would have pop out. Or pop in, I should say. So, got a little bit more bullet both shotgun and pistol um, last time similar to where I got to now I would have 100 pistol ammo already like I'm not, I'm not kidding 100 and I was killing every single zombie that was standing in my way and burning them at the same at the same time so I'm just gonna go back and review my uh, my canteen I don't know what I'm doing with this old key, so I'm just going to put it here. Okay, so now we need to get three more masks. I think I got... I think all those few tank have four uses. So every time you refuel them, you can so you can refuel them fully twice, basically. Uh, so I know... Oh, I don't know if I got enough ammo, but the scope broke. Oh, I remember where the other old key is used for. The other old key is to unlock the, a shotgun to the backyard. Which will be very useful. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? So this is the first time we see Rebecca. Yes. This place. So Rebecca has already gone through team out of here. A, a nightmare of her own. Everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. Alright, so we need to get 
the serum for Richard to save his life. And we're just gonna... So the serum is in the um, item save room that we just came from. Now that zombie, I'm not gonna burn him, that in the uh, dog whistle balcony because I want to see if he's going to turn into a crimson head and bust through the, that door. I know it's a risk, but I just want to just want to see if it will happen. There you go, serum. And that's the reason why I'm replaying the game as well, just to um, make sure that I'm having that that oh, survival horror vibe. I'm going to give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Here, take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. <gasps> Richard! He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's not safe here. Let's get Richard to a safer place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard needs you now. As soon as Richard gets better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with the gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Yes. Be she is better than good with the gun. Okay. She's been grenade launching the, the, the Queen Leech. Oh, why do I have to go out? I need to go back to the item box. Nah. No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I mean, she I'm can she can you. treat no any problem. wound, but minor wound. Well, I'm, I'm sure she won't be able to do like a bloody surgery here. Maybe some stitching, but yeah, maybe she can like stitch up um, Richard's arm or something. But not any wound. A bit of exaggeration there, Rebecca. Okay, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely need that okay. Go in. Oh. Sometimes I just keep forgetting, but you know, I have to go around this zombie. He means no harm. He's just hungry. He just wants to eat some brains. He means no harm. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I, I was not expecting him to be so far up already, but there's another new zombie just burst through the door. So we got three zombies in that hallway alone. Imagine all three of them became uh, Crimson Head. Oh, for God's sake. I thought I remember. To be honest, last time I did that on the easy mode that I was playing, I just kind of did it. Oh, if I, I think if I push this one, the other one will go in. Hey, now I did it. I, was, I, 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 don't, I didn't understand it. Okay, so what, what happened is that if you just press the button without solving the puzzle, um, gas will come in. And if you stay long enough in the gas, then you will you will die, obviously. Okay, got a puzzle box. Just pressing a couple of buttons to open up the box and then a death mask inside. Okay. Ah damn it. So what we'll do now is to put three of the death masks in the underground um, coffin area. So then I can, I don't need to like waste all the space. And also remember there are a couple zombies in there as well. Oh yeah, we'll grab one more. Yeah, there are a couple of zombies out there, so hopefully I can juke them again because I really don't want to waste any more of my pistol ammo so this door I can only use it for a couple times 
before the doorknob fails off and you can't use it anymore, you can't open it anymore. So the good thing is I already clear, clear out that room, so I don't need to worry about this. So for this room, there's a lot of uh, picture that is kind of in a weird color and the final picture is, you can see the color coordination, well the color coordination, not coordination, but the, the color of the uh, of the items, green, green crown, uh, purple necklace and a orange bracelet. So you don't you don't want to click yes because the crow will go crazy. So basically, what you need to do is to um, get that same color. Turn deep red. So that's not what we want. Call orange. Okay, so those are the wrong colors. Because I think it was an orange bracelet, wasn't it? A green crown. So I think it's this one first. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we've got the orange bracelet. And then it should be purple necklace. And then it should be green crown. Yeah, that's the one. Very good, very good. Switch the picture, yep. There you go. So they get me back to the uh, uh, backyard of the area, grab the masks. And this is where the old key come to, unlocking this uh, brilliant shortcut. So not only this first bit of the shortcut is great, but once we come back to the mansion, this shortcut is... is is damn good. Lily, Lily chopped me down. So there's some, sh there's some shotgun ammo right there near next to the zombie. It might be worth using a shotgun maybe to kill it first, but it all depends. So this one, I have no ice. Oh. That's a lot of blood dripping. But this one got no eyes, no nose, and no mouth. Oh, blood splattering across the screen. And this one got no mouth, which is the one at the end. Okay, so we only need one more mask, which is in the uh, Richard Hall hallway. Where are they? Oh no. Hey! Why am I being daring? Why am I being daring? I'm daring myself. That was stupid. That was stupid. Did I, did I do it? Yes! Yes, boy. MLG, bitches. So, what I will do now is to save the game and call this an episode. Okay, I just saved my game. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So, in this chapter, we've done a lot. We basically put in free mask in that coffin underground part. So, something scary is inside that coffin for sure. But we will uh, unveil that in the next episode. Also in the next episode we will see Chris trying to play the piano. Uh, spoiler, he, he can't play the piano. He just couldn't. He didn't understand the music note. And also we have a, a, a first fight with Yawn, basically the big, big snake that got Richard pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel to follow my playthrough on Resident Evil and my continuation to the path of Resident Evil 8, which I will play 11 main titles altogether. Stay safe out there, keep calm, and video game. Peace.
in the next episode of Resident Evil. Oh, <laughs> Look at Chris. <laughs> Fuck off, Chris. You can't even play awful. any piano. Let me practice for a while. So this is the giant snake that um, Richard mentioned. Hey! That was what I was hoping for. Oh no. Hey! Tick. Worthy. Man. No! Ah, damn it. So, they are experimenting on sharks too. The bastards. 